In this lesson, we're going to create a kicker assembly for our robot. To begin, open up a new assembly and insert the bearing and two bearing housings from our given parts. Place them on the workspace as shown. Next, zoom in and activate temporary access. You will use this to mate the parts correctly. Click on Mate and then expand the Feature Manager. Select Plane 1 from the bearing mount and mate it coincident with the axis of a bearing housing. Place another coincident mate between the axis and the right plane of the bearing mount. For the next mate, select the extruded face of the housing and the back face of the bearing mount. Make them coincident. Add the parallel mate to align the bearing housing. Mate the other bearing housing in the same way on the front side of the bearing mount. Click Flip Mate whenever necessary. Next, insert the bearing component and deactivate the temporary axis because you don't need them anymore. Use the Rotate tool to turn the bearing and make the mating process easier. Place a concentric mate between a circular surface of the bearing and the circular surface or edge of the housing. Lastly, add a coincident mate between the shown circular edge of the bearing and the front face of the housing. Switch to Isometric View and save this assembly with the name Subassembly. This will make it easier to create the main kicker assembly.